Hello and welcome guys and welcome to this short vlog and yes in this particular vlog I am going to discuss about the most most uh, important thing that you work for in your life the most important thing that you are studying for in your life which is the package of course I always believe and I always tell my students that the most important thing is work profile before uh, package but um, the value of package can all, cannot also be undermined because yes we all work for um, a good remuneration we all work for making a future bright making future of a family bright and yes uh, if you want to make a future of a family bright then we need a, a course or a, a segment of work that can give us a flourishing 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 remuneration a good salary package a handsome salary package lot of purposes lot of benefits and yes a big brand name to work for and a big brand which can be associated with us CMA being one of the most coveted and most crucial brand names which are there in the country and most um, uh, known brand name which is there in the com uh, country now what kind of salary packages can you expect from CMA campus placements and off the campus that's the point of discussion today so such an interesting topic yes it's an interesting topic but I always refrain from talking talking about this particular topic because it's 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 too subjective it's too subjective let me give you a caveat a blank asterisk attached conditions and applied attached guys whatever I'm going to discuss right now is too subjective it is it can vary um, 360 degrees it can vary um, uh, you know hundred percent but this is on an average the the calculation which I have or the experience which I have gained from interacting with my ex students who have uh, qualified CM and appeared in the campus or given off campus um, uh, placement opportunities after having an interaction with them this is what in a broad way in a very 10,000 um, uh, uh, feet above kind of a scenario which can come out for salary packages of CMAs in India now uh, a, 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 a very very important thing to be noted over here guys uh, you know we hear that so CMA has got a package of 32 lakh rupees CMA has got a package of 27 lakh rupees a freshly qualified CMA got a package of so and so so guys yes there are huge packages which are offered in campus but the number of students who are offered those packages are three four in the entire country so taking that as the benchmark is not good Therefore, I have kept the numbers very, very reasonable. Don't ask that, sir. We have heard that uh, in the last campus only 27 lakh package was offered. Yes, it was offered. One of my students itself, 27 lakh package was offered. And consistently over three, last three attempts, 27 lakh packages being offered to CMA uh, final student. But how many students get that offer? Three or four. That's it. So I've kept these numbers humble. I've kept these numbers modest. Of course, you can be in those three candidates, in those three students. Of course, you can be. Of course, uh, there are strategies and ways in which you can be in at the, at the top of the list. Of course, there are. And you can be one of them. But currently, try not to raise your expectation a lot because if your expectations are raised a lot and if they um, somehow don't get fulfilled, then you get hurt. So just to avoid you from hurting, just to protect you from hurting, I've kept these numbers modest and humble which I think are practical are achievable and therefore uh, you know talking about those numbers which are too high or too um, uh, drastically low I'm not going to similarly guys I've not uh, kept the numbers which are too low there are salary packages given to CMA final qualified student which are even lower than what I've mentioned at the lower slab rate there are I'm not kept kept them too low because they are exceptions those students are exceptions just like the toppers are exceptions those low rankers are also exceptions they have actually actually you know, not groomed themselves enough they have not been able to really um, uh, you know um, present themselves well in the interviews they have not been able to qualify themselves in group discussions and that is the reason why they are offered packages which are even less so there are two extremes we are not talking about the extremes we are talking about moderates we are talking about the probable um, uh, salary packages which can be offered to you which you can expect if you qualify your CMA final examination so yes the first category of students who are there the case one uh, category one is now I've, I've, I've given two um, uh, you know uh, benchmarks or the two criteria based on which salary will be decided number one merits merits means how well have you performed in your examination uh, right from you know foundation intermediate final all three are important but the most important is CMA final so you know even if you have you've, uh, uh, given your CMA intermediate in three attempts, you're qualified in three or four attempts. But if you've done your CMA final in first attempt, you've, you've um, you know, paap dhul gai, dhul gai sare paap. So CMA final is the main criteria 
to uh, really see. So if you've uh, cleared your CMA final in first attempt, with or without rank, okay, I'm uh, giving both the um, uh, options over here, with rank or without rank. You have, you're, you're a meritorious student, you qualified your CMA final in first attempt, both groups given together, with or without rank, doesn't matter at all. Uh, yes, with rank gives, gives you a little more impetus as compared to um, without rank. And with rank, the probability of even going above 20 lakh increases. That 27 lakh, that 28 lakhs pa kind of packages are very, very near to you if you have a rank. If you don't have a rank, nothing to worry about. Even if you qualify in first attempt, which means both the groups given together, first attempt qualified and you have high skill set. Okay. Merits, you are at top of the list by qualifying both the groups in first attempt. You are at top of the list. And yes, I would confess that even if you give both the groups separately and you qualify in first attempt, then also you are almost almost equivalent to the category one um, students over here. So nothing to worry if you've given both the groups separately and you've qualified in first attempt. First attempt qualification is very, very important. Okay. So yes, this is the category first attempt qualified students. Skill set is high. Skill set means you have got um, uh, professional qualities which are required, which we'll, we'll be discussing in a short while. Skill set is high then you can expect a pack pa package in the range of 15 to 20 lakh rupees per annum. Then category two students, second or subsequent attempt. So if you have qualified in second attempt or subsequent attempts, okay. So your third attempt, fourth attempt, and you've given both the groups separately and even, even while giving both the groups separately, you've faltered in uh, first attempt or second attempt and you've, you've taken certain attempts to qualify the examination. But still, your skill set is high. Your knowledge is high. Your communication skills is high. Your execution skills is, are high. You've got good experience in past. Okay. All these things are high. Then you can expect a salary package of 12 to 15. And yes, you can also go till 15 to 20 lakhs. If your skill set is high, even if you have uh, subsequently um, uh, qualified the examination subsequently, then also you can move to the first ladder if, if you, if you uh, do a little bit more of effort. Okay. But primarily you'll be categorized in this range, which will have a salary package of about 12 to 15 lakhs per annum. Then third category students who qualified in first attempt, yes, they've uh, done their um, uh, merits absolutely perfect, qualified in first attempt with or without rank, whatever, but their skill set is low. They've done dummy. They've not been able to improve their communication skills. They've not been able to do their um, uh, Microsoft uh, Office skills well. They've not been able to have practical knowledge of how ITR is being filed, how GST returns are being filed, how accountancy works, how valuation works. They've not been able to get practical insight of that. So skill set is low. Merits are high. Then guys, please expect a salary package of around 8 to 12 lakhs because you know, the company will be paying you to teach you. That's why your salary package will be a little lower. Company will be taking you to teach you. Yes, company should, even if your skill set is low, company should be able to see that spark in you. That is, you are willing to learn. One common question which is asked in the interview, uh, do you mind working for late hours or working on weekends? The answer should be yes, absolutely. That spark should be there in your mind that yes, I'm eager to learn. I'm absolutely desperate to learn new things. If you're desperate to learn new things and if you are, um, even if you uh, have less knowledge, then company is willing to invest in you. This is the investment which company is doing in you. The investment will be around 8 to 12 lakhs per annum. And trust me, within one year or two years, you'll be moving up the ladder to that level. If you have qualified in first attempt, even if you have low skill set, no worries, no worries. You understand that while studying, you know, it's difficult to um, uh, attain skill sets. It's difficult to really attain practical knowledge. It's difficult. We understand that. So uh, nothing to worry about. Start with here, start at this position and go up to here. That is the third category. And the fourth category, of course, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, least in the ladder, lower in the ladder category, but I don't think these are the worst category or bad category or something like that. People who have qualified in second or subsequent attempts, people who have qualified in um, uh, multiple attempts and whose skill set is low, whose, whose execution skills, practical knowledge, um, training, uh, Excel skills, all these skills are low, communication skills are low, their English speaking skills are low. You know, they're, they're not aware about the basic English words, terminologies, uh, all the things are low. If your skill set is also low. And your merits are also low, which means you have qualified CMA in many, many attempts. Then guys, please be ready to take an humble offer of 4 lakhs to 8 lakhs. This will be given to you by a CMA firm or a CA firm who will be training you uh, as an article or as an intern. They'll be training you under them. And then of course, you'll move up the ladder. So the probability of moving up the ladder is there in 
all the three situations so the students who are there in these situations they should rejoice they should be very very happy because all the students who are there in these three ladders will be able to move up but the student who will be there in this ladder he will not be able to move up this is a um, uh, blessing in disguise if you are in the lower most cadre then your probability of moving up is immense is is superb so nothing to worry about all the students who are there all the permutation combinations which are there they will get a job they will get a secure job they will get a high performing job and then it's up to you how you escalate in the job going forward how you move up the ladder doesn't matter okay and age doesn't matter students ask me sir uh, does age matter because we'll be um, you know uh, 28 by the time we move up, up that ladder or we are still 25 we are right now we are 25 Uh, we'll complete our cma get to the job at 26 um how will we move up the ladder don't worry about that 3 years 2 years 1 year down the line here and there doesn't matter in the long run everything will come at um, uh, an equilibrium if you work well if you work hard so don't worry if your attempts are many don't worry if your skills are low start with a humble modest package and grow up till the ladder and sky is the limit at that particular case pinnacle is the word so yes that was my estimation on and this is not an estimation this is not a prediction okay please don't hold me responsible if you say that so second category student has got 4 to 8 lakh package how is this possible sir that was your um, assessment as this assessment is not arged in stone it's it's all subjective because companies prefer certain traits some interviewer sees some quality in a person some interviewer sees another quality in a person some interview doesn't see any quality in you so it depends on person to person it depends on situation to situation it depends on company to company but broadly categorizing all the four categories um in a way that we can comprehend the outcome of campus this is how the outcome can be comprehended broadly and of course there are outliers of course there are exceptions who are getting package of 28 lakh 27 lakhs um in my youtube channel itself there are several several such um uh, you know historical uh, students who have got who have created history cms who have created history and those interviews are still lying in my um uh, you know playlist you can join the playlist you can see the playlist or i'll attach it in the i button above also to make you aware about all those people and those strategies that they have adopted to qualify their examination and now last but not all the least so what do you mean by skill set skill set means you'll be able to apply your theoretical knowledge in your work that is known as skill set what is skill set what is skill set what do you mean by skill set that whatever theoretical knowledge you have you'll be able to apply it in your work that is known as skill set i am aware that you are you know what is section 43b 43 capital b you are aware about um, the uh, disallowances which are there in uh, section 43b which means non cash expenditure which are done in non cash form uh, and they are disallowed from while computing the pgb income you are aware about that okay now will you be able to implement a return of income or competition of income whereby 43b is there and will you practically be able to find out from where do i find out what uh, su uh, such defaults are there uh, what is tax audit report from where i can find out this default and put it in my competition of income what is itr form that i need to fill are you aware about all these things that will actually implement your theoretical knowledge into practical work are you able to do that that exactly is known as skill set Are aware? You are. Uh, you know about accounting, okay? What accounting entries are required to be made in a holding and a, um, a subsidiary kind of a situation? We are aware about that. That you know that. But will you be able to guess? You know, if accounting entries put in books of accounts, what impact will it make in balance sheet and P and L account of a particular company? Are you able to practically implement that? Are you able to practically see and read the financials of the company or not? To find out if a asset balance has been distorted, then what is the reason for it being distorted? Are you able to find out that? are you able to um uh, you know collate a line item uh, by line item details of expenses say of uh, 500 line items are you able to collate them in a particular chart using microsoft office um uh, excel uh, techniques are you able to draft a letter to the cit commissioner of income tax well using microsoft word are you able to draft a letter well are your drafting skills up to the mark i know you are aware about, about the section okay you are aware about 1432 assessment proceeding 147 reassessment you are aware aware about the sections but are you able to draft a letter to a commissioner of income tax um uh, you know asking him to revoke the reassessment proceedings which the, it has started are you able to do that are your word skills microsoft word skills drafting skills good enough are you able to communicate well with the client smartly clients are very smart 
are you able to communicate with your um, peers smartly are you able to um, you know tell your um, uh, expectations to the peers to the uh, to the to your uh, office colleagues smartly are you able to communicate well that is the art which you need to learn working knowledge of accounting taxation then general awareness are you generally aware about what is happening in the market are you aware about um, economic times what is happening uh, what is happening in um, uh, you know the economy economy of the country what is happening in economy of russia economy of ukraine or whatever is happening around the world are you aware about that because all these things boil down to a point that if you want to work well for a company if you want to earn money for the company you need to have practical application of your theoretical knowledge do you have that that precisely is known as skill set develop that skill set it's not a one day two day task take a lot of time to develop the skill set so yes your skills are the main thing while qualifying um, uh, your package while determining your package your skill set forms the main thing even if i compare both of them have are equal although but if i compare if i want to give a uh, you know if i give you, if you if you put a gun on my head and say so which is better which is more important than these two i will say skills is more important than merits so yes we need to apply our heart and soul in developing skill along with the merits and if both of them are in synchronous synchronization are in sanctity are in tandem with each other sky is the limit package think about a number and that will be your package in next 5 years even if not now next 5 years that will be your package so don't worry about package pursue skill set and package will follow you don't follow package follow passion follow skill set and package will follow you on that positive note and with a very difficult conversation to crack and this is a topic which i always avoid to answer to all my students because it's difficult to um, uh, you know categorically tell what kind of package can you expect from cma campus and it's really risky to tell this kind of number so i shy away from this discussion but i broke all shackles and come out of my comfort zone to discuss this important topic with you with that hope and pray and um, with, to see your expectation uh, what is your level of skill set um, and merits Uh, you know um, now what is your level of skill set merits so you must be giving your examination very soon but i want to know what is your level of skill set okay so just write in the comment section below is you consider your skill set as high or low high or low what is your level of skill set you can say moderate as, as well comment in the comment section below what is your skill set and if that is coupled with a good result then you will flourishing flourishing package in your cm mechanics with a hope and pray that you will get a good package you've got you will you will get a good career good opportunity to work with big brands of the world and you get an astonishing astonishing career and purpose it's ahead that positive note all the very best and happy studying